Hi guys, welcome to another Gar's Guide. In this video, we'll talk about the Lost Temple, also known as the Drought Dungeon. The Lost Temple is a level 58 dungeon unlocked after completing the Underwater Cave main quest. It features a crazed Strauth, complete with all of his lightning attacks coming from his trident. If you follow the story, you'll remember that Strauth lost control of his power and his mind because of a certain villain. We'll be fighting that version of him in the dungeon. In this video, I'll be going over all of Strauth's attacks, even the ones not listed here. I'll show you what the attacks look like, how to dodge them, and tell you other notable things about each of his attacks. Right, so first let's talk about Raging Sea Bash and his normal attacks. Raging Sea Bash is a 3 hit combo of his normal attacks. He also has 4 swing animations for his normal attacks that he goes through randomly. These attacks hurt, but they can be absorbed by a knight class player with their skills and damage mitigation. However, if a squishy class gets hit, expect a chunk of their HP bar gone. In hard mode, this becomes deadly to anyone without proper defense stats, so make sure that your tank is capable of handling this attack. Next up, we have Frostmark. Strauf will glow white, raise his trident, then 3 seconds later, boom. There are two points that will explode, at his feet and at the target marked by a snowflake. I consider this his most dangerous attack because there is no red circle indicator on the floor. You have to move away as soon as he raises his trident, otherwise you will get hit. If you get caught by both explosions, you will most likely die. One interesting thing about this attack is that if you use play dead, you can avoid the damage from the snowflake, but you will still get hit by the nova from south. Just note that you can't rely on play dead all the time because of the 60 second cooldown. Next up, we have Ancient Summon. A white circle will appear at Strauf's feet, and then he will summon a group of either Fen, Merman, or Ogun. The summon units have a chance to inflict frostbite status with each hit, and I think Obunes have the highest chance to inflict the status. If you get hit too many times by the mobs, you will get frozen. The best strategy to avoid this is to have a wizard kill the mobs. If there is no wizard in your party, make sure that someone in your team is killing the mobs, otherwise you will have issues with the frostbite status. Attack number 4 is Raging Thunder Bash. A red cone will appear in front of Strout, showing the area of effect. This does enough damage to one-shot most players, so make sure to dodge. Fortunately, it's a very slow attack and you will probably only get hit if you are frozen. And last but not the least is Thundercloud Break. This is Strout's special attack and it has 3 different forms depending on his HP percentage. At 70%, he will cast lightning in a shape similar to his trident. It will attempt to hit the target with the center line. He will cast the thunder 3 times this way. He is invulnerable for the first 2 strikes and then becomes vulnerable again during the third strike. To dodge, just simply sidestep away from the red circles then wait. At 40% HP, he will become immune and cast thunder strikes randomly around the arena. Just run around and avoid the red circles. At 10% HP, he will cast lightning again, but this time chasing players. I suggest running in a circle to avoid them, and make sure you do not run into other players while dodging the lightning. And that's it for all of Strauf's attacks. Now I have some general tips for you to make it easier for you to run this dungeon. Tip number one, do not forget to bring Panacea. Panacea will help you a lot and it will remove the frostbite status from you. Tip number two, don't forget to bring wind converters or wind arrows. The more DPS you do, the faster Strauf dies and the less chance for you to make an error. Tip number three, this time it's for priests. It's advised to stay in the outer circle and away from your party. This will help you stay alive and avoid most of Strauf's attacks. Move in close only when someone dies and if Strauf isn't casting lightning. Tip number 4, 
For wizards and hunters, try to kill the mobs with your AoE attacks whenever you see them summoned. The faster they die, the less chance for someone to get the frostbite status. And the last tip that I would like to give to you is to remember to have fun. This is a game after all, and games are supposed to be fun. Let me know if you have any questions, post them in the comments section, or hit me up in my social media. If you want to see more of my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for another Grar's Guide video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!